Hi guys, my name is Kevan Pervizinia and in this video I am going to talk about C# generics. Before we start with generics, uh, let me explain what problem Jenny came to solve. In that version 1, we didn't have generics, so let's say we wanted to create a list to store a list of numbers. This is a simple and basic implementation of a list. You could have a method called add to add a number to the list and an indexer that uh, returns uh, the number at the given index. Now of course, uh, there are more methods like remove and find. And I'm just leaving that for simplicity here because the intention is to talk uh, about uh, generics and not data structures. Now, if you wanted to store books in a list, uh, obviously this class uh, wouldn't work. So we had to go and create a class like uh, this. Uh, call it book list uh, with the method called add, a parameter called book and similar indexer. Note the problem here, for every type we have to create a separate list. Uh, and this is a, uh, a lot of code application and not productive. Plus, uh, if there is a bug, we have to fix in multiple places. So one solution to fix this is to use a list of objects, something uh, like uh, this. But the object, <coughs> uh, because the object uh, is the parent class for every type in that .NET, you can easily pass uh, any type to this method here, or get any object from this indexer. Uh, but there is another problem here. The problem is uh, performance. If you use the class, for storing value type like uh, integers, every time we insert a value type uh, inside this list, uh, it has to be box uh, to be stored as an object. And every time we access that value, it has to unbox and uh, this is a performance penalty. Or even if you use reference type, uh, every time we want to cast an object, uh, let's say a book. Uh, to an object uh, or vice versa, this casting again has performance penalty. So, uh, generic came as a solution to solve this problem. With generics, uh, we create a class once and uh, reuse it uh, multiple times. And it doesn't have the performance penalty like with uh, object list uh, here. So let's see how we can create a general list. So I'm going to create my generic list uh, next to this one so you can see the differences. You start with public class, uh, I call it generic list. Uh, no, uh, generic have a parameter and parameter uh, are specified with angle brackets. So like this. Uh, <coughs> and we usually call them T, uh, as in short for template or type. No, uh, we create our add method. And, and no, uh, instead of getting a book here, uh, we would get a T. What is T? We don't know yet. The consumer of this class uh, will specify that. Uh, I will show you in a second. Similarly, 
to get the object uh, at the given index we return t so that's all we have to do now uh, let's see how we can use that <coughs> we go to our program cs uh, so here uh, you are accessing uh, a book object uh, you're ex extensioning uh, a list of numbers uh, uh, and you see uh, you're extensioning a list of books <coughs> now that the problem is uh, here is <coughs> that we have two different type of list we can simply use our generic list instead of these two classes here so I can actually uh, come out this piece of code Now, uh, let's create a list of number. <coughs> uh, I use the generic list. Uh, <coughs> and here, I specify the type of T that uh, will be specified earlier so in the case uh, we want a list of integers so I'll put it here and now uh, when I access the add method uh, note that the parameter is of type T <coughs> Uh, we can use the same general list to store a list of books. Uh, so I suppose uh, if I book as a template parameter uh, and say uh, books, uh, books And say books, books, then at. Now uh, the add method get an object of type book, so uh, a new book. So uh, see we get uh, we get code reus reusability and <coughs> we don't have the performance penalty. Why? On runtime, our generic list is actually a list of books. It's not a list of object. Uh, so there is no casting or boxing. So uh, this is the basic of creating a generic list. No, in practical term, most often you will be using generics uh, as opposed uh, to create ones. In fact, I personally, in my professional career as a .NET developer, um, have very rarely come across a situation that I had to uh, create generic classes or generic methods. I would say uh, maybe three or four times over the course of a few years. Most often, uh, you will be using the generic list that are actually part of that net. So, you're not going to create a generic list. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching it.